What a guess. Lend me your ears. Long as our Fevremon suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erlan sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word! Such an inspiring visage! Your Majesty shall have my eternal fealty. No Your Majesty, of how long I have awaited this moment. It's the rightful inheritor of the Dragon Throne, chosen by the Dragon as its enemy. Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward.
Are you unharmed? You ought to flee while you can. After all, your charge awaits you. You cannot linger in this place forever. You have lost your memories. It is surely the work of a fell curse, but worry not. survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Keep your distance, Arisa. Worry not for me. The grind may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely 
cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What happened here? Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me.
Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? Pray, save your thanks. Tis only just that I should aid you in turn. After all, tis only by your courage that I live today. Had you not leapt between me and that dragon? I know you suffered for it. Such ghastly wounds. And I could not hear your heart beating. It was arisen. I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I've Has he come for you? We are to part so soon then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. Everson. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deeser of everything. During the time of the previous consul, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place, word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deeser, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. Well now, you're... What is it? Has something happened? Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scour the area. I'll scour the right. In here. Open up. Open this door right now. We're coming in. Out of here. Dressed rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and. Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host's wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. Pray forgive me. And what business have you here? In the noble's playground. Hmm? Huh? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this, perchance? Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? 
I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check. Lest you forget, these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. You need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. Nay, I, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall. And we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is not but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. As you can see, I run an establishment that caters to certain... pleasures. You're welcome to come and play any time. If you escape with your life, that is. Know, however, that our services do not come cheap. Oi! Who goes there? Who's there? Tut, tut. Now, this just won't do. How's a lady supposed to work with all these interruptions? Oh, it is you, Lady Wilhelmina. Mm-hmm. Do excuse us. We thought to enjoy a little fresh air. Though we had hoped for slightly more privacy, if you catch my meaning. Apologies, my lady. But I ask the name of your companion? Are you sure it would be wise? Such knowledge has been known to cost a man his head. Ah, uh, understood, my lady. If anyone asks, I shall say I saw naught. Hmm. A narrow escape. You should count yourself lucky that he was so easily flustered. Have you given the matter some more thought, Wilhelmina? I would have no other as my personal courtesan. I want you all to myself. When I imagine you in the arms of another, my heart feels apt to rend itself from my breast. Allard, pray forgive me, but I think it would be best for you to leave. We can discuss this matter another time. But why? We've only just... I am attending to a burden that all women must bear. I trust I need not elaborate further.
I did not take you for the voyeuristic type. Why don't you come in? Get your hands off me, you fiend! Don't you know who I am? Oh, you hang for this impudence! Oh, Allard. I've always wanted to see you like this. That voice. Wilhelmina. But why? Why would you? Do you still fail to recall? Even with this mask staring you in the face. But I suppose for a man such as you, a little murder here or there is hardly worth remembering. What mockery is this? In your youth, you slew two individuals. The merchant whom you served and his wife. They had a child, as I am sure you are aware. A newborn babe who was spirited away by her loyal wet nurse. You mean to tell me you were their child? How can this be? Your mother, she was a beastrum. Surely her child would be one as well. A fair assumption. But for better or worse, I didn't take after my mother. Save for in one respect. This is for my mother. And this is for my father. Time has come for all your sins to come to light, Allard. <laughs> Just this once, I'll give you something special. I'll grant unto you the sweetest of dreams. I know not what I would do without you. You have my thanks, but it's time to say farewell for now. Just know that my bordelry will e'er be your haven, should you have need of it. It is a strange thing. I ne'er knew how vast the sky was. Till I left Mel behind. Time and again you have come to my aid. Would that I could repay you in some way. Alas, there is little I have to offer. Yet, if your heart e'er aches for a place to call home, then may this village. No, not the village. If e'er. You're in need of a hearth to return to. And let it be mine. A merchant, eh? Have you an entry permit? Hold a moment. That cart has priority. Lord Phasus is come! Open the gates! This is good. I am relieved to see that you are fulfilling your charge. Now, it would be advantageous for you and your pawn 
to visit the rock master's borough in Bakbatar. Methinks it is where you will find that which you see. Oh, it is finished. The result is even more sublime than I'd hoped. <laughs> I must deliver it to Lord Phasus at once. Though, mayhap. Now, I cannot leave this in your hands. I may not be fleet of foot, but only I can do this. Deliver the blade to Lord Faces. You ought reach him in time. Go now. Make haste for Moonglint Tower. There your journey will come to an end. One way or another. Retreat soon. 
I fear we are all lost. We all press on, my lord. Mine's not the stone puppets, then. We move. It arose from the sea. What could have summoned it? would seem the stone puppet has stopped. Have the wounded been tended to? Yes, my lord. Good. I trust you are prepared, Sovereign of Furman. W will it really be all right? I I'm not about to be charred, am I? Fear not. You are in no danger. Dragon shall be under my control when it appears. Come, let us press onward. For if we. I trust. Your efforts are for naught to reason. Now, simply watch as this world's hollow and fruitless order is remade by my hand. The ritual is complete. The dragon comes. Dragon. By my power, the dogma of dragons is unmade. You could ne'er understand a risen We must all be freed from the vulgar order wherein the dragon's existence determines all. Hast thou summoned the resolution to face me? Then answer me this. Why dost thou fight? Is it to reclaim thy flesh 
thy stolen heart. Or is it to reclaim thy throne? I offer thee a choice. Grant unto me this life in my claws, and be gone from this place. Or stand and fight. Pitiable arisen. The time for thou to make thy choice is come. Show me the path thou wouldst walk. Hmm. Intriguing. This then is thy will. Our party is done. We must fulfill our charges. I as the dragon, and thou as the arisen. Climb upon me. We shall depart for our true battlefield.
Why is he in the zoo, Mayor Rissen? You have fulfilled your charge, are you not satisfied? Seek you greater status? Perhaps to rule the world in time. Desire, you may merely spy out the path. The choice is thine, Risen. By thy will alone can the course of the winds of fate be altered. You would still resist your fate. Understand you the folly of such a decision. Even the beating of your reclaimed heart was born of the great will of this world. Yet you would abandon it. Everything in this world all that you have come to know as reality is the creation of the Great Will. Should that will be lost, no mortal being can survive. However, if regret yet assails your spirit, then perhaps you should reaffirm your choice. Witness with your own eyes, or through the eyes of another, the fate of this world. Turn back. Leave now, while you can. You have strayed, Arisa. And for what? Lest you forget. You have a world where you belong. There, you are to fell the great evil in your path and rule the people as their sovereign. For that is who you are. And it is my wish that you should live out that life of purpose. The time has come for you to return. Go. My children shall see you there safely. Let us go home together. To a world under your rightful rule. To a world all your own. Is your will? Then behold, a world unmerciful, left with the benevolent hands of God.
with a lesser will of my own. Will is power. It is the means to shape the world as one desires. to unfold. Yet, it seems I will not be there to watch it.